Let's discuss the FTP connector options. Since we need to retrieve documents from our FTP, we need to set up an FTP connector shape. Let's discuss the core connector options which help us to configure our start shape. It is the main component containing all the information needed to connect to a single FTP server. Like any connector, it is a combination of two parts. The first being the connection, or the where, which is the FTP server hostname and user login. The second is the operation, or the how, which is a get or send action along with a subdirectory and file filter definition. First, you create a reusable FTP connection component. Here's what each connection option does. The host is the host name, the IP address, or the domain name of the FTP server where the FTP application exists. In our case, it's ftp.boomi.com. Port is the FTP server port, which listens for incoming client connections. The default port is 21. The connection mode is active or passive. This is how the FTP client initiates both connections to the server, solving the problem of firewalls, filtering the incoming data or connection from the server. Passive is commonly used. Finally, we have the username and password, which represents the user login information for the account on the FTP server. Now, please keep in mind this connection is a component meaning once it's created, you can refer to it in other FTP connector shapes instead of creating a new one. Next, let's look at some options in the SSL options subtab. Now, once selected, the new options appear in the connector window. The first is SSL mode. It can be non, explicit, or implicit. These are the methods for invoking the different types of client security. It enables the ability to support FTPS, otherwise known as FTP-SSL. Use client security. If this is checked, it enables the client certificate import and definition if the FTP administrator requires it. For all FTP read requests, there are some common fields in the operation component. The first is the FTP action. This will be either get or get and delete. You will be retrieving the files and then defining an optional delete command. Remote directory is the subdirectory if the FTP user needs access deeper than the base directory. File filter. This locates files based on a pattern matching using the file name. You can use wildcards such as a star for everything or a question mark to wildcard an individual character to create file name patterns. Transfer type. This transfers the files as text or raw data. Maximum files to read sets the greatest number of files to read at once. The default value is zero for all. Well, that was a lot of information to review for just one connector. As you'll see, that will make more sense when you watch me build it out. I'm going to walk through how to set up the FTP connector for our scenario. Remember, just sit back and watch as I build this out, and then I'll have you complete these steps on your own. Now I'm going to do exercise number three to access the FTP connection, and exercise number four to create an FTP operation. This is in your book on pages 10 to 15. We're going to begin with exercise three, accessing the FTP connector. And click on your start shape. It is type connector. The connector type is FTP. The action is get. Because this is a start shape, traditionally we only have access to retrieve files. We will not have access to write. Our connection is created for us, but let's take a quick look at it. This is logging us into that ftp.boomi.com. The port is going to be 21. 
Our connection mode is passive. Remember, this can be passive or active. It will be passive. We give it the username, which is Boomi Train, and the password is encrypted. Let's now move to exercise four to create the FTP operation. We're going to click on the plus symbol to create a new operation. For the name of the operation, they all default to the name new perhaps FTP connector operation. We're going to call ours account XML get. Our connector action is get and our FTP action, we have a choice of get or get and delete. We want it to be get because we don't want to delete the file. We just want to retrieve it. The directory we're getting access to is called accounts. It's off the root directory. The name is accounts. When you enter information into an FTP directory, it is case sensitive as well as spelling sensitive. So please be careful and make sure it is all lowercase and it is plural. The file filter name is going to be account with an uppercase A. And then we're going to wildcard it. Remember that the file names were account-1.xml and account-2.xml. So we don't really care what the extension is. We don't care about if it's a one or a two, but we just want those files that begin with account. Once again, this is case sensitive. So the A must be uppercase and then the rest of the letters must be lowercase. The type we're gonna be reading is binary. The maximum files to get is how many files do you wanna read in at a time? Zero is the default, which means get me everything. And we're okay with that because we know that we only have two files out there. I'm gonna click the save and close button. I'm gonna click on okay. I'm gonna click save to save it to the process. And now our process with this FTP start shape is configured. Now when I come over to the component folder, you're going to see that we have our process account XML to CSV and we have our connector configured. We have the connections, which is the Boomi training.ftp and the operation, which is the account XML get. Now it is a Boomi best practice to store all of your connections into one folder. So earlier in this class, we made a folder called pounds on connections and we forced it to the top by using pound sign. What we want to do is store all of our connections in our folder, beginning with our boomy training.ftp. So what we're going to do is just highlight this. We're going to place our cursor over top of it. The cursor turns into a plus symbol with arrows. We are going to take this and we're going to drop and drag it up to the connection folder. When I go up to the connection folder, the folder does turn yellow. I can leave go. And now when I'm in my connections folder, I have my connector, which is my Boomi FTP connector. And I scroll down and it says Boomi training.ftp. I no longer have it in the connections section of my Boomi Essentials folder. This concludes our video, but please complete both exercises before moving on to the next video. Please complete exercise number three to access the FTP connection and exercise number four to create the FTP operation. Our next video will be focusing on our disconnector.